got some Starbucks K cups. Originally, these were seven dollars a pop. Um, since these are expiring literally tomorrow, I was able to get these down to two dollars. All right, we are going to start our day at Savers, and for that, we're gonna need some books to donate. So, what we have here is my dud pile of doom. So, we're gonna go ahead and grab these. These are all books I need to donate. So, I'm not gonna do that one. Ikea bag. We got our goodies for the day water, a little snack, coffee, and we're on the road. Catch a break, I'll be killing it. But my paddock face, like a chandelier. Saturday, in my cinnamon. I forgot a roof, make it disappear. It's a comatose and a paranoid. Said I'm going long, like a bug in here. Falling off, I was faded out, right into the truth. So Alright, so I am all prepped and ready to go into Savers. We've got phone, wrist strap ready to go. I've got my bag ready to go. And, you know, got the scanner prepped and also ready to go. So we got about three cars or so full of people. They are also waiting to get in those doors the second they're open. We got about five minutes left. I gotta make a quick stop at the donation center to drop off my books for the donation credit. But right after that, we're gonna get in the store and we are gonna try and scan the books as fast as possible to try and get in and out of this location. I got a lot of other stuff on the agenda today, but we're gonna make sure that we capitalize on the opportunities that we have here and not overlook anything trying to be fast. So keep that in mind. You always wanna capitalize on that opportunity of where you are because if you try to speed through, you're gonna maybe miss some stuff and that's just money you're leaving on the shelves for someone else. So, quick tip for you guys. A cemetery, I've been blazing, I dirty, crazy, fuck you, do y'all pay me? A catch a break, I've been killing it, but my paddock face like a chandelier. Saturday, in my sentiment, I forgot a roof, make it disappear. It's a comatose and a paranoid, said I'm going long like a bug in here. Falling off, I was faded out, right into the truth, so we're coming clear. Back streets turning. So let's take a look at some of the stuff we got. We got some Brooks used shoes. A whole lot. And I mean a whole lot of books. I thought that would be very nice. We also have a bunch of new tags, some good brands, Ashworth. Got that, Callaway, Tommy Bahama. This brand, I've never seen it before. Short par. These really cool kind of like matching shirts so it's this one with like a cream and a blue and then another one with the blue mane and the cream so i'm gonna bundle these together those are half off and a bunch of books struck out so far on the red tag or yellow tag stuff i'm gonna check out some shoes and see if we can find anything worth selling all right we got a nice pair right here these Nike boots. So tag it. It's gonna be 60, 70 bucks. The comparables 115, 135, 175. These are new, other brand new 200. And these dates are today's the 20th. The first one here is 17, 16, 14, 12, Jan or December 30th. No, you can't see too well, unfortunately, but comps are really great. I'm gonna buy these for sure. Ooh, look what I found. Add that to the mix. What I'm gonna do too is make sure that these shoes are in really good condition before I actually buy them. All right, so I ended up copping, I think it was four of those pairs of boots. Also grabbed some uh, clothes that was super discounted for their January sale. So that was a Swoop, some Callaway, some Under Armour. I think those are the two main brands. Also got some Starbucks K-Cups. Originally these were $7 a pop. Um, since these are expiring literally tomorrow, 
I was able to get these down to two dollars. Uh, it's only ten, and they had they had about four or five boxes, and so I asked the lady. I only brought one up there. I asked the lady if I could do the same deal, the two dollars, for all of them, and she was not about it. So, you know, I I went with the one box still. Good deal, twenty cents a cup, and this is a some double caffeine deal. So, yeah, good deal. All right, so my stop at St. Vincent de Paul was not a bad one. I got about six or seven books, uh, some good hitters, and I also got a lighting setup. So if I decide not to use it for my eBay setup, I will then be able to sell it for a profit, but I haven't decided yet. Everything is pretty much, it's been opened, but everything is in the box. Everything is, most of it's still sealed, but everything is like in the original packaging. Doesn't even look like it's been used at all. The other thing I was able to score was a little Bose speaker. Last time I was there, I was able to get a full-on Bose uh, CD player, FM, AM radio. They had another one of those. They were charging like 150 and they don't really wiggle with those prices. So I decided to go with the smaller one for 40 bucks. That'll sell for, I'm gonna list it for about 59.99 plus shipping. So I'll make a little bit of profit on that. Might use it a little bit first because those Bose speakers are nice. So right now, we are at Goodwill. Yeah, we're at another Goodwill. So this is one really close to my house. And for some reason, this is the one I neglect to go to for I don't even know what reason. It's within like two or three miles from my house and I hardly ever go here. But the last few times I've been here, they've had really good books and they've had some really good stuff. So I kind of feel bad for not hitting it up more, but we're going here right now, so let's check it out. So I'm gonna quickly break down the profits that I'm estimated to make once everything sells. So we'll start first with the books. When we look at all the places I went to, I went to that Savers first, I went to a St. Vincent de Paul, and I went to a Goodwill. The Savers was the biggest spot of that day. We made almost $550 profit. The St. Vincent de Paul's was a little underwhelming, only about 20 something, but then that final Goodwill came through and it was some 200 so dollars. The grand total profit came out to be $803.69. So regardless of anything else I bought that day, including the boots, those shoes, uh, the bows, and the lighting setup, which I'm using right now, we are looking at $133 an hour. I worked six hours, so you guys can do the math very easy. And that just goes to show you guys how profitable books can be when you're buying and selling them from thrift locations. So if we were to estimate the profits that I made for the eBay stuff, only one of those boots have sold so far. It was a $20 profit after everything, shipping, fees, literally everything, $20 profit. We're gonna multiply that by four, which is how many boots I got. So we got another $80 right there. The Brooks and the other pair of shoes that I bought have not sold yet, so I'm not gonna include those. And I have not listed the Bose speaker, I'm still using it. And I'm not gonna sell these because this lighting setup is great. So we are looking at just a little bit under $1,000 profit for six hours work. That is what I like to call a good day. So actually, when I first filmed this video back in January, it's currently February right now, but I had thought that I was gonna show you guys how to clean the shoes and how I go through my process of actually getting them ready to be resold on eBay or other markets, but I decided that it would make this video too long. So I'm gonna break it into a two-part video, and the second part will be uploaded after this one, and you guys can find it at the eye above or link below. And if you guys wanna check out how I go through clean shoes, what tools I use, what supplies I use. You guys can check that out too. It's just a short little video and I hope you guys enjoy that as well. Thanks for checking out this video everyone. I hope you guys learned something and if you did, drop a like below, drop any comments or any videos you want me to produce, book related, eBay related, cat related, and I will try and post those for you guys. If you guys wanna interact with me personally, then you guys can follow me on Instagram, that is where I am most active, at Monetary Ocean, and I will definitely respond to pretty much every DM that is sent to me unless you're a Forex trader. I don't trade Forex, unfortunately. So thanks for checking out this video, guys. This is David Miller at MonetaryOcean.com. Don't wait, dive in.